Hey divas and gents, I'm coming to you with my October layout. I was gonna do a plan with me as far as having everybody watch um, how I plan, but <clears throat> when I noticed, I noticed when a lot of girls do their play with me, it's because they're using plan with me. <laughs> that came out wrong. Um, <laughs> they have the Erin Condren's, so they're only doing a week spread. In here, um, this is a month, so that would have been a very super long video, so I just went ahead and decorated it, and I'm just going to reveal how I, what I did and stuff like that, and um, I will be getting an Erin Condra next year, so when I do that, then I can do the plan with me for the week spread, because doing the month, and the boxes are super tiny, so I had to kind of figure out how I was going to, you know, work with what I had, and mind, mind you, I'm new to this too, so, but I love how it came out, okay, so let me show you the things that I used. I used this stamp set because the pages are blank, which I like. So I had to put all the days, um, the you know, the actual numbers, and then I used the days of the week. So this is a super stinking cute um, stamp set. I love it. I actually love a lot of her stamps. I They're really stinking cute. And she designs her own, and she's, like, amazing. Okay, and then I used this really pretty um, stickers. I just received these. Was it from you, Elizabeth? Let me know, girl. But I just got these, and I know she sent me planner goodies, but I, I don't remember. If, see, the problem is, is when I receive my packages, I literally put everything away. I cannot have things just laying around, so I put them, if I have stickers, I stick them with all my stickers. You know, so... And that's where I lose track of where they come from. I could have been good and wrote down the name like a lot of you girls do. And um, I need to keep that as a mental note because I do feel bad when I can't remember where things come from. So I used a couple of stickers here. These were absolutely adorable. Love them. Then these were from Hobby Lobby. And they're only like a dollar. And you get, I think, two sheets. And I love them because they were like craft. They're a craft um, background, slightly orange. So I used some of those. Um, this is a better. And I used some of these. That's the same thing. And then I used a lot of these. So there was some banners that were like this. And then there are banners that are like this. And I loved it. They're very inexpensive and super cute. And then I used... Um, a couple stickers from here. Nat gifted me these stickers and I love, love, love owls. And these are so adorable, right? So stinking cute. The ink that I used to stamp is this one right here. I also purchased from Hobby Lobby and it comes in a, <clears throat> in a pack of six. And it's, I think it's only like maybe $10 and I, um, and it happened to be 40% off because a lot of the times stamp abilities is 40% um, off so that's when I got it and these are chalk inks and um, they are amazing amazing for acrylic stamps really good so that is what I used and then I used some project life things too which I'll show you that is a great way to go I tell you when you're on um, when you're doing your stuff is use project life cards and then, of course, I have my dangle that Nat made me hanging from my planner. Okay. Oopsie. And then what I did on here... Oh, this was a list of stuff I needed to get, which I already got. Okay. Um, I went ahead and added these a stinking, adorable clips that I purchased from Shondi. Hi, Shondi. They are adorable, right? Look at that. And look at, and she has like the best glimmer. She puts it on like everything she makes. But how adorable is that? Oh my gosh, that pumpkin one. And then look at this cup one. To die for. So stinking cute. And then this is just an owl clip that I made with my owl punch from Hobby Lobby. Super duper cute, right? And I just put some little blings in it. And I just put the same in the back. And then... Yeah, so see how cute. And then I have these right here um, were in a two-tier um, sticker pad, but I only pulled out some, not all of them. It would have been too thick. 
and this is just because I had clips there so it like left the indents on there these right here I think they were gifted to me by Wally oh I'm so sorry I think they were so I put these right here and these are um um you know page flags and then here is this one adorable and then I just left this here I have a couple of these it went with the theme and then I keep these in here because these are perfect for little tiny they're little tiny speech bubbles that fit perfectly in the little squares so I kept those in there and those are bills yeah nobody wants to see that totally depressing so like I said project life cards adorable to add and laminate okay you guys have already seen the beginning which I still didn't put my name on it okay this you remember was my last month spread my first time doing a spread so still learning learning curve learning curve now let's go to this month tell me that's not adorable I'm dying <laughs> I love it so you will see that this is where I added the banner stickers and this is where I did all the days I got a lot better with my stamping skills let me tell you I love watching plan with me videos and then here is some stickers and then there's those stinking cute ones from Hobby Lobby okay oops and then I will show you this part in a minute. Okay. So I just can, I just finished off the banner because this is where the first, so those all empty spaces. So I thought that would be totally cute to um, add there. And then I filled in the boxes with stuff I need to do or whatever. And then there's some more of those stickers. Super cute. And see, there's where I use those epoxy stickers. Aren't they adorable? I loved it. And let me show you. Let's open this up. <clears throat> okay. So if you notice, it's hard to do certain spreads because the this right here was all at the end and I didn't want that because it wasn't going with the flow I was doing for my my fall colors so you see I added washi I put three layers of different washies to cover this up okay and then um, and I just re-hole punched it not a big deal and then I added more washi down here and right here. And then there's another washi. You can barely see it, but there's it's like an orange polka dot that's below, behind that. And here's some more of that, those stickers. And you'll see. Tell me those are not stinking cute day stamps or, you know, days of the week. How adorable. And then I just put, added on one of those little clips and I added a charm. I showed you guys previously all of the Super Chunk Master ones that I've done that are like this on the bigger pieced ones. But this one right here, I wanted to keep it small and simple. So that's how I did it. And then let me show you this one up close. Adorable, right? I tell you, I learned so much from watching a lot of planner girls that are amazing. I love these epoxy stickers. Oh my gosh, they're so stinking cute. And then just layered it on the side again. So you can't get too crazy, like the Erin Condren's, oh my gosh, you can go to town on those because there's a lot more space. So, um, but I do love how this spread came out. Um, it's very, very cute and it totally, you know, it totally flows for me. I love it. 
So for those of you that may have this planner or planners that are like this where you know your little bubbles are really small and you can't really go crazy on decorating the inside of them but you sure can work some magic all around it. So um, which I learned and I love it. Now I wanted to add a pocket to the inside and um, all I did was use recollections paper and I folded it. I used some yellow extra large eyelets ran that or not ran it used my crocodile and um, because I wanted these I didn't want the paper because you know going back and forth it wears at the paper so I went ahead and used these and there's some washi that I used and I used the washi all the way around this right here is also a um, project life and I love it because it's just a little something and I love adding little things in little areas super cool there is a pocket here of course once I remove it it opens the whole pocket and then there's this stinking cute little stickers that I got from Nat and then see it's just a laminated butterfly I love it because it just hangs around just for cuteness that's all nothing major and then this right here says you are fabulous and these are some prints that I found online and all I did was laminate it because it was I just printed it out on you know photo paper and then I laminated it. I just wanted her there and then these right here are from Marion Smith these are pink on one side and then green on the other I always need stuff like this right here so um, what I need to do is I have a lot of like a ton of TV shows that I like to watch through the week and I have to watch them on Hulu because a lot of the times I can't catch them so um, I want to be able to write those down and that's it it's just a pocket so if, this is for the purpose of my receipts for the month from whenever I go craft shopping not nothing else just my craft shopping and the things that I need to do um, what do you call it um, no, actually, I'll do it for my all my receipts. This is not just a crafting planner. This is a little. Uh, this is my everything. I take this to work with me every day. So, how stinking cute, right? I love it. So, have a little touch of cuteness in there. It's adorbs, adorbs. So that is my October spread, and I love it. So thank you guys so much for stopping by and taking a look at my um, planner spread for the month of October. I did have a blast putting this together. It was a ton of fun to do. And I will be back with a couple more videos. So you guys stay tuned. Don't go nowhere. And I will see you later. Bye.